Hey, what's up? It's Justin from Chinese Drama Land, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Many Chinese historical dramas premiered in the first quarter of this year, and in today's video, I'm going to list the top 10 highest rated Chinese historical dramas of the first half of 2022. The dramas on this list are based on ratings of the Chinese review site Douban. Douban is a Chinese version of IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. What makes Douban different is that it also covers book and music ratings. I'm going to include dramas with at least 20,000 ratings on this list. I'm also going to make a video of the top 10 highest rated Chinese modern dramas that premiered in the first half of 2022. So if you want to get notified when I upload it, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon. Let me know in the comments section down below which of these dramas was your favourite drama in the first half of this year. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Number 10 Royal Feast starring Xu Kai and Wu Jinyan Royal Feast is a 40 episode drama set during the Ming Dynasty and it revolves around the food bureau of the Imperial Palace. The drama tells the story of a young girl who enters the palace to become a maid of the food bureau and slowly works her way up in the food bureau while improving her craft at the same time. In this process she makes new friends and gains love. This drama reunites Xu Kai with Wu Jinyan, as this is their second reunion. They both starred in the 2018 hit drama The Story of Yanxi Palace which shot them to fame, but in that drama, Xu Kai and Wu Jinyan's characters did not end up together though they loved each other. So fans of Fu Ying, CP of the story Yanxi Palace, have been asking for a second reunion where they can finally have their happy ending. This drama is a high budget court period drama with great close up shots and it has some great looking costumes. Royal Feast has a 5.5 rating out of around 28,000 ratings. Number 9 The Autumn Ballad starring Xu Zhenxi and Qiao Xin The Autumn Ballad is a 34 episode drama that tells the story of a witty young girl and a cold faced duke. The two get on each other's nerves in the beginning but later on fall in love. This drama ought to be the gold standard for how realistic, believable relationships should be developed and portrayed. This drama is one of the best acted anchor performances in the drama with amazing chemistry between the leads. The Autumn Ballad has a 5.8 rating out of around 37,000 ratings. Number 8 Who Rules the World starring Yang Yang and Zhao Lucy who Rules the World is a 40 episode drama that tells the legendary decade long romance between Hai Fengxi and Bai Fengxi and the adventures they embark on together. Yang Yang plays Hai Fengxi, a handsome and elegant man, and Zhao Lucy plays Bai Fengxi, an elegant girl. The drama tells their love story that blossomed in blood after a decade of struggle in the martial arts world. Who Rules the World was directed by Yin Tao, who also directed Love and Redemption and Ancient Love Poetry. This drama has abundant background characters, intertwined stories and rich world building that surround the main romance story. With its gripping chemistry between the leads which will surely keep your attention high throughout watching it. Who Rules the World has a 5.8 rating out of around 106,000 ratings. Number 7 Sword Snow Stride starring Zhang Ruo Yun, Hu Jun, and Teresa Li. Sword Snow Stride is a 38 episode drama that tells the story of Xu Feng Nian, the eldest son of General Xu Xiao of the Northern Liang Dynasty, who goes through hardships and growth to avenge his mother's death. Along his journey in the martial arts world, he improves his martial arts skills and he meets new friends with whom he establishes strong relationships, who later help him become the king of Northern Liang. This drama doesn't have a lot of action scenes, but when it came, it was phenomenal and kept me wanting more. This drama consists of both wuxia and fantasy, and the actors were not overdubbed. 
They use their own voice and I have to give props to the actors for that because 90% of times actors are overdubbed. Sword Snow Stride has a 5.8 rating out of around 153,000 ratings. Number 6. The Blue Whisper starring Dil Raba and Alan Wren The Blue Whisper is a 42 episode drama and it tells the story of a human with the ability to control demons. One day she gets ordered by the princess to tame a beautiful merman prince. She has to make the merman do three things, speak human language, grow a pair of legs and be loyal to the princess. One day she finds herself in a difficult position as she has to make a choice. Her freedom or the merman's freedom. The drama was directed by the same director who directed Ashes of Love. The Blue Whisper sets, props, scenery and people are simply eye-catching, which keeps one visually interested all the way through. The Blue Whisper has a vibrant and bold colour palette with exemplary cinematography and outfit which makes it refreshing to see compared to other costume dramas. The drama also has beautifully done and well rendered CGI and special effects. The Blue Whisper has a 5.8 rating out of around 174,000 ratings. Number 5. Hero starring Joseph Zeng, Yang Chaoyue and Liu Yuning Heroes is a 38 episode drama and it tells the story of a kind hearted youth who experiences many adventures after travelling down the mountain. During his journey he finds love and befriends several like minded peers. In the complicated world of martial arts he gradually matures from a muddled youth into a hero of his generation. This drama was directed by a well known director in the industry who directed Goodbye My Princess and Rattan and it was filmed on location. The drama has brilliant camera work evocatively capturing the essence of wuxia from the wild vastness of the terrain, the spirit of adventure, the air of intrigue to finally the profound sense of fatalism and impermanence. Despite the stunning aesthetics the fast paced and bloody fight scenes are over choreographed and somewhat lacking. Heroes has a 6.5 rating out of around 35,000 ratings. Number 4. My Sassy Princess starring Crystal Yuan and Zheng Yi Cheng My Sassy Princess is a 22 episode drama that tells the story of a domineering princess who meets a cold and skilled martial artist and together they embark on a journey. If you're into light hearted dramas add this drama to your watch list. My Sassy Princess has a 6.7 rating out of around 64,000 ratings. Number 3. The Killer is also Romantic starring Smile Hu and Yang Zi. The Killer is also Romantic is an 18 episode drama and each episode is 12 minutes long. The drama is set in a fictional period time where two people hiding their true identities got married. Facing their deep love and secrets in their hearts, the two fall into a deep entanglement as they're both assassins. This is a low budget drama but the storyline was well structured. The Killer is also romantic has a 7 rating out of around 27,000 ratings. Number 2. The Wind Blows from Longxi starring Chen Kun and Bai Yu the Wind Blows from Longxi is a 24 episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name by author Ma Bo Yong, who also wrote The Longest Day in Chang'an and Luo Yang. The Wind Blows from Longxi is set during the Three Kings period when the Shu Kingdom defeated the Wei Kingdom using powerful crossbows. To attain these powerful weapons, the Wei Kingdom sends spies to infiltrate the Shu Kingdom. Chen Kun plays Chen Gong, a spy hiding in the Wei Kingdom. When the Shu Kingdom receives false reports from Chen Gong, they send Shun Shu, another spy played by Bai Yu to investigate him. This drama was directed by Lu Yang who also directed the movie Brotherhood of Blades. This drama has immersive storytelling, suspenseful plot stellar acting from the cast and the unconventional camera work was immensely enjoyable. The Wind Blows from Longshai has an 8.1 rating out of around 85,000 ratings. 
Number 1 A Dream of Splendor starring Liu Yifei and Chen Xiao A Dream of Splendor is a 40 episode drama and it tells the story of Zhao Panna, the owner of a small tea shop in Hangzhou who was abandoned by her husband. Feeling wronged, she travels to the capital city of Bianjing to seek justice for herself and she helps Song Ying Zhang and Sun Sanyang escape their abusive marriages along the way and the three become good friends who turn a small tea shop into the largest restaurant in the city. Zhao Pane also meets Gu Qian Fan, a military commander who she later falls in love with. This drama marks Liu Yifei's big return to the small screen after 15 years of making movies. Her last drama was the 2006 drama Return of the Condor Heroes with Huang Xiaoming. This drama was directed by Yang Yang, who also directed one of my favourite dramas, Ever Night. A Dream of Splendour has a gorgeous intimate camera angle that enhances the thrill of the drama's budding romance and Liu Yifei and Chen Xiao have amazing chemistry. A Drama of Splendour has an 8.1 rating out of around 681,000 ratings. If you'd like to support me by contributing a dollar or more, check out my Ko-Fi page by clicking the link in the description down below. Let me know in the comments section down below which of these historical dramas were your favourite in the first half of 2022. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload a video of the top 10 highest rated Chinese modern dramas of the first half of 2022. If you want to watch more videos like this click on one of the videos on the screen right now. That's all I have for you today, stay safe, stay well and I'll see you on the next video.